Hello and welcome back to this Magic the Gathering Streets of New Capenna Draft Primer. This is How to Draft MTG. We finished looking at the mechanics and the mana fixing in the previous two videos, so go check those out if you have not yet watched them and you're interested in learning about those. We are now going to look at my general pick order going into the first week of Streets of New Capenna. As usual, I like to group cards by categories in order of importance. This is by no means a definitive list, and I encourage you to use your own card evaluation skills and adjust this pick order as you see fit. When we first open our pack of Streets of New Capenna, we're going to be looking at our rare, of course. The top cards we want to take are the most flexible and powerful rares. These are at most two colors, powerful, and fit into multiple decks. I will be aiming to avoid starting my drafts with a three color card, if at all possible. I'm not going to go over all the rares here, as that would take way too long, but if you're interested in my list of the best rares in the set, you can check out my Reddit companion article, which I will link in the description below. This category of flexible and powerful rares would include cards like Gala Greeters, Mysterious Limousine, Professional Facebreaker, Tenacious Underdog, and Undercover Operative. Just below our best rares in the set, we are going to be looking for our premium mana fixing. This is a multicolor set. Mana fixing is going to be extremely important and we need to take it very, very highly. These premium mana fixers are going to include the cycle of rare Trilands, the cycle of allied color dual lands, the best cards that produce treasure tokens, and the cycle of family fetch lands. If you want to learn more about these, check out my previous video on mana fixing. Next, we're looking for our premium removal. This is cheap, flexible, and monocolored. These are cards like Call in a Professional, Grizzly Sigil, Murder, Out of the Way, Sleep with the Fishes, Strangle, and Whack. Past the best removal spells, we're going to be looking for the premium uncommons and commons of the set. Once again, these are two colors at most and fit into multiple decks. We're not yet looking to take three color cards if possible, even though that is the theme of the set. These are cards like Boon of Safety, Citizen's Crowbar, Cleanup Crew, Darling of the Masses, Forge Boss, Inspiring Overseer, Mage's Attendant, Metropolis Angel, Psychic Pickpocket, Pugnacious Pugilist, Riveteer's Requisitioner, Rumor Gatherer, and Sizzling Soloist. From here, we are looking to navigate into one of the allied color pairs, being white-blue, blue-black, black-red, red-green, or green-white. Based on which color pairs we think we may end up in, we can start to speculate on three color uncommons we may wish to splash. These would include Brazen Upstart, Corpse Appraiser, Crew Captain, Disciplined Duelist, and Nimble Larcenist. The cycle of Family Legends, including Cormella Glamour Thief, Lagrella the Magpie, Mr. Orfeo the Boulder, Keza Augur of Agonies, and Rocco Cabaretti Caterer. And finally, the cycle of Charms, Obscura Charm, Maestro's Charm, Riveteer's Charm, Cabaretti Charm, and Broker's Charm. As we settle into our allied color pair, we will begin to pick up cards to fill roles in our deck. Ideally, these should be cards of our allied colors and not splashes. Splashes should be reserved for powerful cards only. Roles that we may need to fill could include removal. We could fill that with cards like Deal Gone Bad, Light em Up, and Ready to Rumble. Or if we haven't picked up enough mana fixing, we could grab Something like Big Score, Glittermonger, Ominous Parcel, or the cycle of family creature fixers like Glamorous Outlaw. Maybe we have a sacrifice theme going on and we just need some good sacrifice fodder. We'll want to pick up a card like Corrupt Court Official or Expendable Lackey or Unlucky Witness. Or maybe we simply need to fill a hole in our mana curve. If we haven't picked up enough two mana value creatures, for example, we'll want to grab something like Attended Socialite, Backup Agent, or Mayhem Patrol. Now let's talk about reading signals in the draft. We want to take note of the good cards that are being passed to us in pack one, picks four and beyond. These can indicate that a color, allied color pair, or family 
is not being drafted by our neighbors to the right. Those same players will be passing to us again in pack three, so we can reasonably expect to see those same colors again. This can inform our choices in pack two. Pay special attention to the cards remaining in picks nine through 15 of pack one. This is known as the wheel. The pack has gone completely around the table and no one has chosen these cards. This can give us a very good indication of the color or colors not being drafted at the table and allow us to capitalize. Finally, ignore pack two signals for the most part. The packs are moving in the opposite direction and we're actually pretty likely to see opposite signals than what we saw in pack one. These signals will not reliably inform us of what we can expect to see in pack three. If you recognize that a certain color was open in pack one and now you're not seeing it in pack two, don't worry, it'll come around again in pack three. That's going to conclude this video on pick order in Streets of New Capenna Draft. Thank you so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos and leave a comment up next. We're going to be talking about deck building tips. See you there.